this is Jeff O'Leary, the village guru, top Mississauga real estate broker. And today I want to share with you two lessons I learned from being a baseball coach. You're not going to want to miss this, so stay tuned. So this year was the first year I ever became a head coach in baseball. Now, normally I always like to help out with my kids and I'll do whatever I can, but I got a busy schedule. You know, you know, I don't work normal hours and I do a lot of volunteering as it is. So I was kind of hesitant to coach this year. However, I did find out that there was, they needed a lot of volunteers. So after a little bit of debating, I decided what the heck I threw my hat in, in order to be a coach. Now my one reservation on being my kids' coaches, when I was a kid, I played a lot of baseball, and it was pretty good. I played rep level ball. When I got home, I used to go out and play on the street with my friends. Strike. Ooh, that was a nice one. I was always practicing. I was always trying to be better, and I was quite tough on myself in terms of skills. Now, I know coaching house league, it's not the same. You get a wide variety of kids, and not all of them are that good, and it's about having fun and learning skills. And I didn't want to become one of those dads. Look at the ball. No more looking at me. That, you know, was real hardcore, and at the end of the day, makes the game less fun than it should be. However, at the end of the day, now that the season's over, I realized it didn't work out that way at all. And in fact, I had a ton of fun coaching the kids. And on top of it, I learned two really good lessons that I want to share with you today. So lesson number one, coaching is way harder than it looks. Now I know there's a million parents out there who think they're professionals at every sport. You gotta get that kid off the field! And I'm sure you've been to games and you've watched somebody, or maybe you thought to yourself when the coach did something kind of questionable, what the heck's this guy doing? I mean, I could do a way better job. Now I'm going to stop you right there and say, unless you've you're been coaching for years and you coach at a high level and major league players or whatever, it's really hard to get people to do what you want them to do. And especially with kids, it's really hard. Let's take, for example, throwing. Throwing in baseball is like the number one fundamental skill. You have to learn how to throw a ball straight and on target. The problem is kids don't want to practice throwing. Just throw it. Just throw it regularly. They all want to go pitch and half of them can't throw the ball from the pitcher's mound to the, the back catcher or hit the side of a barn, but still they want to pitch. And the problem is what's the use without the practice? It's really not going to happen. Now take, for example, real estate. I meet a lot of people who want to sell their house and every single one of them wants to sell their house for the most amount of money. Now, like who wouldn't? The problem is some people don't want to put in the work in order to get their home ready for sale. It's doing the little things, uh, following the system in order to get the maximized amount of dollars. Now, my grandmother always used to tell me, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink. It's the same thing with skills in baseball or selling your home. You have to put in the work in order to get the results you want. Which leads me into lesson number two. Don't worry about things you can't control. Now in baseball, it can be really hard. I mean, you can be in a close game, maybe you're tied and you put your best pitcher out there and they're doing really well, but the umpire strike zone is just all over the place. I mean, pitcher throws the ball down the plate and he calls a ball. It can be very frustrating. I'm sure you've been there. Now the problem is, maybe your pitcher starts to get frustrated, they get thrown off their game, and the next thing you know, bases loaded, game's over. I mean, it happens. In real estate, I can give you another example. Maybe you're a buyer and you've been looking at a lot of houses and you finally found that dream house only to be outbid for the home. Or worse yet, maybe you put in an offer on a home and the agent on the other end has not been forthcoming with other offers or what's going on or maybe not just quite on the ball and it's caused the deal to fall apart. It can be quite, you know, frustrating and demoralizing when you thought you found your house. The thing to remember is there's always going to be things that come up in life that you can't control. It's how you react to that situation that's ultimately going to determine your experience. At the end of the day, what I find is sometimes what we thought we wanted never worked out, but if we do what's right and we follow what we're supposed to do, the results are always going to end up the way we want it to, which means maybe you get a better house. Maybe your kid learns a lesson in baseball that makes him a better pitcher the next time. At the end of the day, it's all about learning. So there you have it. I'm Jeff O'Leary 
sharing with you two lessons I learned from being a baseball coach. Now, if you live in Mississauga or the West GTA and you're a savvy home buyer seller and you want some one-on-one -on -one advice, feel free to go to my website, thevillageguru.com and contact me and we'll set up a time to talk. If you're just looking for some advice on real estate or anything else, check out the website. It's got a ton of resources. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. If you have any questions about real estate, always feel free to call or email me. This is Jeff O'Leary, The Village Guru, keeping real estate real, and I'm out.